Hello, my name is David, and in this video I will answer some questions I am frequently asked about my digitization process and show what kind of finished product you can expect. I accept any slide as long as it is in a 2 by 2 inch slide holder. They can be loose slides, slides loaded in 40 count trays, 100 count carousels, and even 140 count Kodak carousels. My machine is derived from a Ward's projector, and any incompatible trays must first be reloaded into 100 count carousels compatible with any of the projectors you see listed on these boxes. I always have several empty carousels to load loose slides if that is how I receive them. When I load the slides into the carousels or check a preloaded carousel, I always make certain the slides are oriented in a horizontal fashion to properly fit in the frame of my camera's lens ensuring the maximum amount of the slide is captured. After this, I used compressed air to remove dust particles or any other foreign debris before loading the carousel and beginning the next step. Once loaded, the digitization process begins. As each slide enters into the frame, it is blasted with air on both sides in an attempt to remove the remaining dust before it is digitized. While the double dust busting removes almost 100% of the dust, some stubborn dirt will resist removal, possibly affecting a couple in every 100 slides. Using a DSLR camera with a purpose-built macro lens ensures a great final product with a high resolution and the option for the NEF or RAW format. Here are the finished pictures you just saw digitized. While these slides from the early 80s are in pristine condition, other, oftentimes older slides were developed using inferior chemicals which caused the slides to degrade and change color over time. While I cannot correct this discoloration or any over and under exposure, they can sometimes be saved by converting them to grayscale. I hope this video has been helpful in answering some of your questions. Please check out the rest of my website and feel free to contact me with any further inquiries. Thanks for watching.